Hello friends, welcome to Jyoti Hydroponics Farm videos. Let's get started to get better at farming. In our last video, we had stopped at the costing part. So first, let's discuss the costing part of this project. As most farmers do not think of adopting new technologies due to the initial investment issues. This can be a key difference in the competition. Let's see how the costing can be reduced in hydroponics and other finance options available for it. Let's go deep into each of them. The setup costing covers mainly five parts. First, the polyhouse which is needed to control the environment of the plants that are growing in it. The next is hydroponic structure. For example, either we are using NFT system or we are using drip system or we are using wick system. So we'll be discussing all these one by one in the later stage of the videos. The third part mainly takes tanks which are used for the nutrients. Then comes the motors which are used for fertigation, foggers, etc. and etc. Other miscellaneous parts are labor cost, then maintenance cost. So these come under the uh, other miscellaneous and labor cost. Now we would switch on to our other slide here. Now, what are the polyhouse options available for us for our uh, hydroponic system? The first one is you can go for a used polyhouse to save money as that doesn't make much difference to a new one. As in an old structure, you will only get frames which are old and has same strength as new one. Rest all other things like poly paper, hangers, hooks, insect net, foggers, tank system will be completely new installation. Now, I would show you a video of two different types of used polyhouses that we have here on the screen. So let's go ahead and have a look at one of them first. Now, if you just have a look here, this is a complete used polyhouse, which has, that's in a pretty good state with well equipped support so for some reason the farmer has stopped farming here and just planning to sell it off so this is one of the best poly houses that you can opt for the used poly house that you can opt for uh, for your hydroponic system now i would show you the second one Now this setup, I would say, has been a better, one of the best setups that I had seen because they already had a farmhouse here for their poly house, just in front of the poly house, I would say. And they almost have uh, approximately five acres of poly house, which is now abandoned. Don't know for what reason why they have done this, must be they must be using soil as a medium for the poly house for their plants and were not able to cope, cope it up and that's the reason why we suggest always hydroponics uh, under poly house where we can control the environment any disease that we get to the plants from the soil that is again a kind of uh, resolution with uh, soilless farming so I would rather suggest whenever, if anybody is trying to do uh, farming under polyhouse, I would always suggest to go with uh, the soilless farming under polyhouses. Now the second option is you can go for a new polyhouse or you can plan to get a subsidy on it as well because there are places in India wherein you, you have two options of subsidies. One is you get from center and other is uh, from the state that you reside in. 
So you will need to contact your nearest agriculture officer in order to get more information about the subsidies on polyhouses in your state or from the center. So now let's go ahead and switch on to uh, next slide here. The next part comes the hydroponic structure. So the hydroponic structure takes up the largest cost of the entire project. This is actually a myth. Don't worry. We will cover the hydroponic structures and what is NFT in an upcoming video. Our hydroponic structure is mainly made up of three parts. Metal frames for vertical farming, grow bags and drainage mats for flat bed system for cucumber, tomatoes or uh, bell peppers or capsicums or bottle guard. So there are a lot many vegetables that we have options for to grow it in soilless farming under one polyhouse and that one polyhouse would have one stop solution for all the vegetables or green leafy vegetables that we are planning to grow in under our polyhouse under soilless farming. So let's go to our next slide now. Now here we have a very good question here why we need hydroponics as our mother nature is capable enough to feed us why we even need this kind of farming here are the facts and some of my thought process i belong to a farmer family and we currently hold 40 acres of good fertile land in north india we have spent a good amount of time on farms working with hybrid natural and tissue culture crops, organic crops and with almost all possible techniques available in irrigation, fumigation, plantation, harvest, weeding out there. In all those years, we realized Mother Nature is capable enough to feed us, but only for now or only for few years. The amount of food we are growing is not enough. Just to make this food available for everyone, the price of food is controlled by the government and other bodies making it loss making business for farmers. And finally, we plan to turn towards hydroponic farming. Low priced, good quality food at mass production. Let's understand a few bitter facts. Hydroponic farming is being done as a solution to our planet's growing food shortage problem. Today, our planet has around 7 billion inhabitants. By 2050, that number is predicted to grow close to 10 billion people. One argument in favor of developing this technique is that there are currently around 700 million individuals who suffer from undernourishment. Although this number is rapidly decreasing. The fear is that there will not be enough land by 2050 to feed an additional 3 billion people, especially given the fact that most of this population growth will occur in Asia and Africa, which are struggling with the amount of cultivating land they have. So, can current agriculture sustain our future? The answer is no. A big no. Can the current pricing of agriculture goods sustain the economy? Again, the answer is no, the big no. So here, our main aim, or I would say our goal, is to get maximum production out of very small space for maximum population. So this technology of growing crops under soilless farming, that is hydroponics, is for actually to produce as much as possible that we can from a small land in a minimum amount of time by spending less of capital with a good production and healthy production of crops for our new generation. So this is the end of this video. We'll just have a look about what actually hydroponics is and how it came into the picture and from where this word has been derived from hydroponics so let's switch on to our next video till then goodbye and have a nice day